All right, so here's how I prepare my cigars. You're gonna to wanna to grab your, uh, your wrapper leaf here, and you're gonna to wanna to grab your binder leaf. And um, so the wrapper leaf needs to be kind of moist and pliable so that you can wrap your cigars with. And the binder doesn't need to be as pliable, but still a little pliable. And uh, so these come in these hands, so you're gonna to need to open them up and uh, you know stretch them out and kind of prepare them. So here's our binder leaf. And here is our wrapper leaf here. Binder leaf is usually the same thing as a, a wrapper leaf, maybe just not as pretty. So that's not a good piece there, but wrapper leaf is generally just the pretty part of the cigar that we see. And um, you know, it's normally the, the, the part that is most uniform in color. So I can feel that this is already a little bit moist. You know, you can kind of feel it as you work with it. You know, but I don't want to rip or tear this because this is expensive leaf. So what we do, just kind of open it a little bit. Kind of prep it. And I'm going to get my distilled water. And I'm just going to spray it down. Now you don't really have to worry about over, over humidifying really too much. The only thing you have to worry about is, you know, it's gonna have to, it's gonna take longer to dry. So if you don't mind waiting longer, I don't think it's a big deal. So what I'm doing is I'm just flattening, flattening this out, kind of getting, making sure all the moisture gets in there. And you could, you could wait a couple of days to do this. You could wait a couple of hours. Um, it's really up to you, so I can feel it. it's dry up there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this. See, this is this is a, a binder, so it doesn't need to be as wet. This is actually pretty good for binder. Maybe just like one spray of this, you know. But this we want this to be a little wetter, and it's going to take a while. It's going to soak it up. So this is where I grab my bag. And uh, I'm just going to place this whole leaf right in here, in this bag here. And I'm just going to spray the inside of the bag. Okay, so that should get it nice and pliable. We'll close off the bag here. And we'll start working on our other, on our other stuff here while that's doing its thing. You know, I'm not a pro. I've only done this a couple times. So this is pretty good, this is pretty good work on it. This is a nice broadleaf Connecticut kind of a thing. So every leaf is a little different. Some uh, wrapper leaves will come already pressed for you uh, and ready to go. So um, yeah, I'm just looking at this thinking this is such a nice binder, I can almost use this as a wrapper. But uh, here we go. So I'm going to give it just a little spray. And you're just going to take the top of the leaf, the tip of the leaf, here's where it grows out of. You're going to want to take the top and you're just going to want to peel away so that way you can get um, that way you can get uh, that stem in the middle out. I've seen videos on YouTube where they just grab it and go like that but I'm not that confident so this is just kind of go at your own pace so see take your time I'm not getting it. there's a big rib right there big vein No veins in our cigars. I'm just doing this nice and slow because I never found any video that really did it nice and slow. Maybe maybe one or two videos. Here's the stem of the leaf, the, the giant vein. It's big. It's like two feet long. Put that aside. We don't need that. So here's our two halves of every leaf. You have two halves. And uh, you, you could double bind your cigar with two different binder leaves. Um, you could just have one binder, make this, you know, use two cigars. It's up to you. And um, so all I'm doing is I'm just kind of spreading it out. And then, um, so yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my rolling pin. This might not even need it, but I'm going to grab my rolling pin and just kind of roll out some veins that I don't like. And 
just kind of take it nice and slow. I see some veins I'm getting rid of. Like um, this part up here, I don't like this part. So I'll just kind of cut that, that away. So maybe that'll be, you know, one wrap. This will be nice scrap. That'll make a nice cigarello too. So we're going to get our filler leaves. Now I've been doing this method called book binding where you lay the leaves on top of each other like pages in a book. Really you can do what you want to do. It's all up to you. I've done, I've, I've uh, tried the intubato method. There's an accordion method I need to try still. But um, I found that the book method, from what I saw from this guy online, well, he does the same method, and there's a lot less waste involved when you use the book method. So here is this uh, Nicaraguan Seco, it's thinner, and here is the Dominican Ligero, which is the top of the leaf. And uh, so as you can see, these are nice and thin, and these are thicker, quite a bit different. And so we, Seiko is for burning and aroma, and the Lijero is, it doesn't burn as well, but it's good for strength. So you're going to want to blend it. And um, if you want, you can, you know, take these apart here. This is, uh, you know, they come, they come pressed flat, and they got rid of the midrib there, so it's like frog-legged. And you can just fold it in half like this, and you can take out... You can take out that right there, that stem. You know, toss that aside. You could leave the stems in there, I guess, if you want. So this is nice and thin. This is nice Lijero. Take the stem out of this one. Put that aside. Now, I always like to put the Lijero on the top, so when I book bind it like that, the lajero will stay in the middle and it'll create a nice uh, cone shape when you're burning. So I'll hold the ash on longer and, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to use, uh, maybe, you know, maybe I'll do a leaf and a half. Make this a little stronger. So there's that. No more lajero. Maybe one more Seiko. Put that on the outside, you know, so you can kind of start to feel how it's going to roll up. Um, you can roll it like this, or you could cut it in half. If we cut it in half, like so, then what you're going to want to do is put this, you know, directly on top, so that way it's still an even bunch, and that way you, you waste less. So you can kind of just start to roll it and just kind of see how big it's going to be. And based off of that, maybe with a double bind, that's maybe about right for a 40 inch ring gauge. Really, it's all about experience, just kind of feeling it. But I'm going to put just a little more, just a little more of this Seiko here. We'll put that under these. There we go. All right, so as you can see, I'm lining it up here, trying to figure out what way I want to do this. I'm recording it with my microphone because for some reason the microphone wasn't working when I recorded the video. And I just rolled up tight, but not too tight. You'll you'll get the feel for it. Kind of straighten it out. And the trick is to just get it nice and even. And I'm still working on this. Get a little bit of cigar glue, dab it on the end there, so that way the binder stays nice and in place. Roll it out as even as you can. And this also firms it up and gets it ready for the press. There you go. Not too shabby looking. The end looks a little bit looser than the middle and the top. Um, again, you can cut that off if you want. And then what I do is I just kind of feel for it and place it in my mold. 
All right, so with the mold, what you're going to want to do is figure out what end you want the head to be. So the end that's hanging out, obviously, is probably what you want to do. And you want to make sure that um, you get the sides nice and tucked in there. Otherwise, you'll have a big seam. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide it all the way forward so it gets in that round cap end there. Kind of tuck it in and then grab an object, preferably blunt, and kind of just tuck it in. Just like you see me doing there with my knife. Be careful not to cut the binder though. You don't want that because then, well, then you got to restart. So now it's tucked in nice and tight all the way forward. And you're ready to uh, to do some um, molding. Quick. Here's what the cigar looks like when you take it out. And I don't know if you can see that. It's nice and flat, but on the sides there's this little edge here. And we want to remove that because you don't want to roll that. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick it back in the mold. Uh, that way the seam is up and that gets pressed. So we're going to stick it back in there. You know, just kind of be careful here. That way that seam will go away. Alright, so let's see what we have here. It might not have turned out good, it might turn out great. It might turn out great. Here we go. So I'm pinching, kind of pulling toward me and spreading out. So this is when I start seeing, okay, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to get a little bit of our cigar glue, and place it. I just place it everywhere, it seems like. Kind of grab our finger here and just kind of keep rolling. Their pectin. All right, so there's our finished cigar. What we can do is we can grab this back again and we can add a cap. I kind of like to save as much as I can of this stuff for other wrapper means, uh, for other cigarellos. So I come down here, grab a little of my glue. Kind of just go in a circle like that. Kind of helps flatten it out. Grab my scissors here. I cut straight through the blob. Nice line. And then, so pretend this is my piece here. Flatten it out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cutter here. I'm going to put a slice right in the middle. And create like this like a uh, flag almost thing. 